Hi. Do you know that you are born a champion? If you are in this world, you are already a champion. You are a winner. You came to this world after a big, big struggle. But let me tell you why you have to feel that you are a champion. Everybody is born after a combination of an egg and a sperm. And this just happens after a woman and a man meet. And then when they meet, great things happen inside a, a woman's body. Do you know that you won a race of millions of sperms? Of the millions of sperms released by a man, they had to travel to find an egg and they pass through a very difficult journey valleys, mountains, rivers to meet, to swim on their way to meet an egg. That journey is equivalent to a person swimming across the Atlantic Ocean from London to New York. Even if it's only seven inches long, averagely, but it was palm compared to a human being that is equivalent to swimming from London to New York. A long journey, millions of sperms are ejaculated and they have to make that journey to look for that egg which is hidden, piled deeper in the fallopian tube. Take an example, that is the human reproductive system. A man stores the sperms in the testicles in the bididymis. There is that gland called the bididymis. So during ejaculation, the journey starts from there of the millions of sperms through the bididymis. Then on their way, they will pass all the way to, they will pass through the seminal fascicles and then they will get their way out through the penis. And once they get to, to the female organ, they have to travel from the vaginal canal to the suffix. And finally, they have to make that long journey to the fallopian tubes because the egg is produced at the right time from the ovaries and then is delivered to the fallopian tube. So these millions have to raise. That is, they will have to raise millions of them. All the sperms have to pass through this vaginal canal to the uterus, to the fallopian tube. So those millions, but only one Mr. Lucky has to meet the egg. So that journey starts with those millions, and when they reach, almost they reach there, that is an egg on the fallopian tube, and all of them are surrounding it. And almost they could see it at a distance, and all of them are running towards it. Each sperm carries the f energy, fire. It's firing its energy, getting all of this energy to get to an egg. A serious journey. Then, the first one to reach there will knock, 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 knock. And then you can see, as it penetrates the egg, the egg changes and forms a thick layer outside. So when the others come and they're knocking, they're told, oh, sorry, someone has been there first. Then it forms when the two meet, they form the zygote, and the zygote is the one which grows and then becomes a human being. 
you. So, you came to this world not by accident. You were already a winner. You won a race out of a million. You are the one who conquered that egg and then became you. On the journey of a sperm, there were many obstacles. There are many obstacles when the sperms have been put on the fountain of fruit. There are so many obstacles. One of the obstacles is the acid, acidic level in the vagina, which can be deadly to the sperm. So most of, most of them don't survive because of that. That's one obstacle you meet on your way. So you have to survive the acidic level. The cervical mucus, which is dangerous, except on days when the woman is most fertile. So the mucus is thick. Some will not be able to move faster because of this mucus. Some get drowned on the way and they give up on the journey because there is a lot of resistance. And then there are pace setters. I mean, I, you can, if you remember when Kipchoge Keno was running a marathon under less than two hours, there were pace setters. Those who come, they run, they run, they get tired, they go away. So, when the spam is moving there, some of them are pacemakers, some, uh, pacem setters, they come very fast, but they get tired, they go away. You could be discouraged because you thought the pace setters have gone ahead of you. But the winner keeps on the focus, like Kipichoka Keno focused on what he was targeting. So the pace setters will come. This they will block, some of them block the other on the way, some scorn competes and criticize. So whatever, those are the three obstacles as Pam uh, meets on its way in the Philippine Cube. Now, let's talk about this obstacle. What are your current obstacles? Now you were born a winner. So being born a winner, you were born, you were raised up, you made your, your obstacles to be where you are. Does this sound like you? So if you are doing anything, what are some of the current obstacles equivalent to what you faced when you became a winner for, uh, when you became a winner in the womb? Why are you giving up? In, in life, you meet acidic people. These are the naysayers, negative people who discourage you in achieving your dream. They will talk about you, they will bad mouth about you. They would lie against you. Then they discourage you. These are the people you have to fight. Even when you are in a business, there are people who will tell you, you will not succeed. You will not make it. They will always give reasons why you will not. Those are acidic people. Just know that you are a, you, you are a winner. If you won that, there were acidic levels, but you won. So in this life, you are still navigating that journey that you are having acidic people, which you have to fight. They will talk against you. You will tell them you want to do this endeavor. They say, no, that's not right. So you will meet those people in your life. Okay. I want to give you an example of my personal journey as a real estate broker. When I decided I want to, to do business as a real estate agent, I had many people who told me, no, you cannot succeed. This is a very tough market. Oh, even when I was resigning from my job, my, my supervisor told me, oh, I thought you, have, you had potential in this job. Why are you leaving this job? Why are you making a journey to go? Are you sure you will sell? Are you sure you will get business? I had all of these naysayers. He told me, just go. If things don't work, you can come back. But I'm happy. Today, it's more than 18 years. 
I never went back. And I have been glad that I made that decision to quit my job, to go be on my own. I don't regret that. So you would meet Asidiki people. You know, they are everywhere. And I want to give you an example from the Bible. In the book of Esther, there is a very interesting story. King Yasaros had trusted a man and appointed him his advisor. So he was like a second man in command. Uh, he, he held a lot of power, like a uh, present prime minister. A man had the hatred for Mordecai, who was a Jew. And because a man was full of himself, he, everybody bowed wherever he was passing, everybody had to bow down. Except Mordecai said, I cannot bow to a human being because I have a God I serve. The only person I can bow to is God. A man was furious when he was told that. So he said that because he's a Jew and he wanted to kill every Jew, he wanted to punish all the Jews. Actually, he had planned to hang Mordecai. He was the ascetic person. But God had put plans for, for him because King Asaros had married her niece whom she had raised, Esther, who had become a queen. So Mordecai bleeded to Esther, and Esther bleeded to the king. He didn't know that all these plans were there. Even when you have a silly people, God has plans for you that he would put neutral people on your way. Who are Muka, Mukas? Mukas, you know it does not resist you. You don't see that it is resisting you because it's fluid and friendly. These are many people who block your progress without you knowing. This is where experts come in. Experts, family members, friends, schoolmates and acquaintances. Actually, John Maxwell uses a very good term here. These are what we call firefighters. Do you know there are human beings in life who are carrying a firefighter to put off the fire in you, the fire of success in you? And this, this is where you get the people you trust, the experts you trust, the family members, friends. Even when you are doing business, you know, I was in one of the business conferences and one, one person said, don't try to sell to even people you know like friends. You will find in your life that friends don't even want to do business with you. Even some family members don't want to do business with you. That is okay. Just know that because you want that journey of mucus, those are just mucus, they will slip away and you will pass in between and go. They will talk against you. They will put you down. They are just cutting a, a, a fire to put you down. A friend of mine told me a very interesting story. How he wondered how people are ungrateful that the people he had helped so much were the people who were fighting him in his business. They were creating scandals about his business. They were talking here of him, how he's bad. But he soldiered on. He kept quiet. And when he succeeded, there were the people who were celebrating, uh, complaining that he has succeeded and he's not helping them. When indeed, when he was growing up, they never did. So you will find such people in your life. But focus and know Always remind yourself you are a champion because you won the first competition. And then peace setters, they would block, scorn, they compete with you. You will, you will get people um, in life who are like peace setters. They want to compete with you to make you never focus on your competitors. 
focus on what you are doing. Because some of these people, they want to, they want to take your market share without smiting you. Some will use crooked means, but that should not be what you want to focus. Just stay on your focus and you will meet your goal. Don't ever rely on what people talk about you. And if you keep this, you will achieve uh, your success and you will remain a champion on your area of specialization.